right now with everything that's going on with the election, okay, you're seeing mm -hmm. DeSantis, you're seeing Trump, you're seeing RFK, you're seeing Vivek, you're seeing, you know, Gavin. obviously Biden, Newsom was on Hannity, all this stuff. A year from the Republican uh, 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 debate, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, the general election, um, w Republican versus Democrat, when they face each other, who do you think is going to be on that stage? Do you think it is going to be a Biden-Trump? It certainly looks okay. that way, yeah. Do you think there's any chance Newsom gets in there? Any zero. chance? Zero. You're saying zero, zero chance. Zero really? chance. Tell me why. Why do you think? Because, because I mean, unless Biden withdraws. Now, that, now I, I, th there is no chance that Newsom runs against Biden. Wow. Oh, against. No, I totally agree with the against part. I agree. that The, the against. But do you think, it, okay, did you see him on Hannity? Did you I see did him? not see. I did okay. not see him on Hannity. It, by the way, he showed up. He represented. Yeah. And, yeah. and to me, if you think about uh, uh, a guy, I left California because of Newsom, you know, because of those mm -hmm. policies. So I'm not somebody that's right. sitting here saying, oh, you know, great with these policies. I can't say that part. But if I were to say, um, if I have a choice between a Newsom or a Biden going on meeting with the enemy or anybody else representing the big stage, Newsom looks presidential. Biden looks like he's past that. So wouldn't Democrats want more a Newsom than a Biden? OK, I, let me qualify what, 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 what I was saying. I am assuming, I mean, Joe Biden has declared for re-election. I mean, he is a yep. candidate. Um, assuming he re remains a candidate, there's zero chance Newsom will run, will, will run against him. If um, Biden, for some reason, were to, will, were to fall withdraw, down stairs. Fall, fall down some stairs, break his hip, yeah. you know, what happens to people in their 80s, yeah. <laughs> um, then, um, then definitely I think Newsom, Newsom might run. But uh, and and then it would be a free for all. I mean, there would be a lot. You know, vice president would run open and, primary. And, and, uh, yeah. yeah, it would be. I mean, there would be half a dozen candidates within a couple of weeks. But you know, every every sign I have is that Biden is going to remain the candidate. I think he's going to be a strong candidate for re-election. But um, you and, think he's going to be a strong candidate yeah, for real? I do. I Why do. do you think? Well, first of all, most most incumbents get reelected. It is unusual. I mean, Jimmy Carter lost, Donald Trump lost, but other senior than lost, that, yeah. Um, the the senior lost. So it's it's it. But but most candidates get reelected. If the economy remains in a, in a in a good place, um, if abortion, as I think it will, will remain a very big voting issue, especially for uh, moderates and independents. There's a big difference between Donald Trump and, and Joe Biden on abortion in particular. And if the country is doing well economically, you know, I mean, you know, n no candidate uh, or let me put it, this, every candidate has has problems. Um, Joe Biden's problem is that he's old. And uh, but, you know, the country's gotten used to him and he's not going to he's not going to overcome that problem by becoming younger but if he maintains the level of uh, activity and involvement that he has now i think he's going to be a strong candidate yeah, i mean so I, i'll uh, um from a perspective of you know uh, approval rating one of the lowest ever approval rating he's got right uh even as a person, let's just say, if you got a guy on your side and you're a Republican, you're like, that's my president, but he's got that kind of an approval rating. Man, I'm concerned about putting this guy in as my st starter. You're all, uh, as a Democratic side. You got a low approval rating. The percentage of Democrats that don't want you to run, the people on media, MSNBC, CNN, that also don't want this guy to run, they would like him to step aside and have somebody else run. It's not like it's just a... Republican Fox News or, you know, Breibart or whoever these guys are saying that. It's people on both sides are saying that. By the way, I have to be honest with you. If I'm a Republican, I would much rather have Biden run than Newsom run. I don't want no Newsom run. Newsom's, uh, the, the way for Newsom. Well, I, I, think for, that's a, I, I think that's Let me give you my argument. Wrong. I want to hear from okay, you. I yeah. want you to push back. That's sure, why you're here. Yeah, I don't yeah. want you to agree. So, yeah. so, so for me, I think one of the things that some of the independents respected about Trump, they're like, where is the meeting? Who wants to do it? CNN? I'll come. That's enemy territory. MSNBC, I'll come. 60 Minutes, I'll come. Da -da, I'll come. And one of the criticism what Obama was like, he did that one Bill O'Reilly thing, and that was it, right? Bob. But that's Obama. Biden's not Obama. Obama can't get away with that because it's Obama. Biden, he doesn't meet with the enemy. Newsom went and sat with Hannity. Hannity's good friends with Trump, and he handled it. That's got to be something where you're like, if this guy is willing to go there, 
sit calm, no notes, zero notes in his hand. Hand, you know, you have to see this very impressive for him to handle him that way. I'm sitting there saying, hey, "Listen, coach, let's. Uh, can you put me in? Like, I'm. I can really do this thing here. I think Republicans would fear more a guy like him than Biden. But obviously, you disagree with it. I'd like to hear why. Yeah. I, be, well, first of all, you know, you have to remember. I think how little most Americans follow politics. Gavin Newsom is probably known by 20 to 25 percent of the voting po- of the voting population. Would you say the same, same about DeSantis? Would you say about no? He's probably n- better known by now because okay. he's you know he's so been a national Newsom candidate. is ahead. Then, then no, 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 Newsom is lesser than known DeSantis. than DeSantis. I got you. Yeah, because okay. DeSantis is running for president, okay. yeah. and and uh, and you know he's he's gotten a lot of, uh, gotten a lot of attention. Fair enough. Um, and, and also you know California is perceived by most of the country as f- to the left of, of the rest of the country. And it is to the left of the rest of the country. And, and I also think, you know, it's it's important to recognize the theater of politics and, you know, who's willing to sit with sit with um, Sean Hannity and, and who, who's not. But there are also, you know, issues that there are profound differences. In. And one of the things we learned in the midterms was abortion is a voting issue in this country. No question about it. And if you, if Joe Biden goes to the public and says, if Donald Trump wins, abortion is going to be illegal in the whole country, which it really might be if the Congress passes a law, which a lot of members of Congress want, want to do, where, and if I'm elected president, re-elected, abortion is going to remain legal in the states where it's illegal, where it's, where it's still legal. That's that may be more important than anything else, because that is a substantive difference that people can see have implications in their real lives more than the fact that, um, you know, he, he's old. And, and, and I, it, you may have a point there if the economy stays intact, if there's no Ukraine, Russia doesn't get uglier than it already is today, if China does not anyth- anything else with Taiwan. If there's not that cyber attack that they're talking about could be coming in the next 12 months, if there's a lot of ifs, of ifs, course, if, yeah. but if none of that happens and it goes intact and he drives that, that's going to be a big issue. What do you think is going to be the second and third issue that Democrats want to hear? Well, I, I think um, the, 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 look, every presidential election at some level is about the state of the economy. That's, that's certainly um, – you know, going to be central and and also you know peace peace in the world. It's the economy, stupid. Yeah, it's the you know it's it's the economy, stupid. I think at the moment, uh, Biden Biden has a good story to tell. Also, you know his his the the, the fact that he passed that big infrastructure bill, which the the projects are going to start to come online, where people are actually going to see the bridges, the the highways, the mass transit. Um, start start to be fixed. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that is, I, I think is is going to be a big a big part of his pitch, um, in addition to abortion. But as you point out, mm-hmm. you know, if the economy goes south, that becomes an enormous problem for him. But at the moment, it hasn't yet. And, 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 and we'll Pat's s- absolutely right about the if. There's always an if. There's of an course, if. yeah. One could argue if. COVID didn't exist, Donald Trump would currently be the president of the United States. Right Absolutely. Now. You, you could agree argue with that. that. Well, I, 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 I mean, certainly COVID played a big part in Biden's, in Biden's victory. Mm-hmm. You know, the sort of what if, if something else had happened, it's, it's very hard to, to know, but you, you're certainly right that COVID was, was, was a big issue. And, and, you know, this also goes for DeSantis too, right. that, he would you be know, not known whatsoever. Well, and, no and, 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 you know, I I don't know. At the moment, it doesn't look like he's going to beat Trump. But if he beats Trump um, and becomes the nominee, the way he handled COVID will will be a big uh, part of the mm-hmm. of the presidential campaign. Although presidential elections tend to be more forward looking than backward looking. And Jeffrey, do you, do you think that DeSantis even has a chance, considering that the indictment just came out and Trump went up? He went up in the polls. I absolutely think DeSantis has a chance. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, oh absolutely. Has a chance, certainly. Um, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> being indicted is a really bad thing. Yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, his presence in the courtroom in New York and, and now here in, in Florida is not going to be optional. 
He it's not to like go. the civil case, you know, which he lost in New York, uh, in New York yeah, yeah. where he didn't go and he didn't testify. Lawyer. You know, <laughs> when you're indicted yeah. and, and, you know, as a former federal prosecutor, it is worth, you know, remembering that um, upwards of 90 percent of the people who are indicted in federal court wind up either pleading guilty or being convicted. So, oh, yeah, it 90%, is 90%, 90 percent people who are indicted. Court. Yeah. So uh, ultimately, you're saying there's a 90 percent chance that he's going to well, be found guilty. You know, I, I, I Donald Trump's case is so he's such an anomalous defendant mm -hmm. that I don't know if you can precise, you know, just treat him like an ordinary defendant. I mean, a lot of these cases are pretty routine. This is obviously not a yeah. routine case, but especially compared to the New York case which I think is not a particularly strong case and not something that most voters would see as disqualifying. The federal case is, is, is I think, very different. Um, and, and, and also just the rules of, of federal procedure are tougher on defendants than, than, than New, the New York rules are. Um, the, now, again, Trump got a good... Uh, Got a good piece of luck with Judge Cannon, who who has been sympathetic to him in the past. But you know, it, it's still. I think you know. Yes, the the in the initial wave, he, um, um, uh, you know, he got he got a certain boost in, in the polls, or at least the the polls didn't change much. Mm -hmm. If he's sitting in court day after day, and the public has to ask itself. What if he's convicted? How, how does how does it work to have a convicted felon <laughs> president of the United States? I mean that I, I don't think you know the you know we we in the news media we spend a lot of time talking about polls, but you know the, the polls change and and um, you know events change the polls. So the idea I, I don't think. W the the world has fully absorbed the magnitude of what it means to be indicted gotcha. in federal court because it doesn't disqualify him. But don't you think, Jeff, just from seeing that d d that one poll, his real supporters here, his real followers, that's Rob, like that that's making them more energetic because they're seeing that one side is getting treated one way, he's getting treated the other way. If you think about it, and you know this for a fact. Hillary did the same, if not the exact same type of stuff. Joe Biden has documents, but they're locked by his Corvette. And we just saw it with Hunter just yesterday. They gave him two misdemeanors and something else. When we all know, we all know, everything that was on his laptop proved one. It's it's hundred percent provable that him with his father, they were peddling money and they were getting bribes. But like, so don't no. Let's be honest, Jeff. You don't think it's gonna help him? People seeing like, look at what they're doing to him and what they're not doing to the other Man, side. You said about five things there, yeah. each one of which could be could be well, yeah, yeah. debated. But but. Um, you you are certainly right that his true believers will be energized by that. That's not enough to win a presidential election. His true believers are maybe thirty percent of the country. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. But that's not enough to win uh, the to, to to win the presidency. And what you know what, what remains to be seen is um, how. The, the the rest the rest of the public uh, mm -hmm. gotcha. proceeds. You're, you're absolutely proceeds. right that, it, yeah. that it's enough to win a primary potentially, but it's not enough to pivot to the general election. I want to stay on the Trump indictment. Mm. Uh, as a former attorney, are you still? Uh, I'm still an attorney. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've seen Trump's former attorney general Bill Barr give a scolding rebuke to what Donald Trump is doing. Yeah. And he defends him in many ways, still. Right, yeah. Uh, you know, it basically says that all the Russia collusion stuff and the impeachment stuff right. was a sham. But on this particular issue, the FBI search documents, ever that he's basically coming out and, and vocalizing, yeah, Trump is absolutely in the wrong here. What's your opinion on what Bill Barr is basically saying about well, Trump? Well, I, I think it's significant because I, I think, you know, we, we now live in such an incredibly polarized political environment mm -hmm. that any time someone on your side says you're wrong, it becomes, it becomes very significant. You know, the fact that Adam Schiff thinks Donald Trump did something wrong. Who cares, Who right? I mean, right. exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's to be... Pre <laughs> that's, that's, to that's be, Pat's man. That's, that's right. to, be, um, to, to be expected. But as you point out, yes. Bill Barr was his attorney general, was a, a Trump defender in many respects. Right. Uh, and, the and, top attorney in the United States. Yeah, and, attorney and, general. And, 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 you know, the, unlike the New York case, 
the the Florida case is pretty easy to understand. I mean, it's it's not it's not a super complicated. Break case. it down like we're all fifth grade. Well, it's it's that you know when you are president of the United States, you are allowed to declassify anything you want. And uh, but you have to actually do it. But if you take stuff with you and they ask for it back, you have to give it back. And he seems actively to have known that he had stuff that he wasn't supposed to have. Mm. And then in the face of a subpoena said, I'm not giving it back anyway. That's a crime. That's a crime that other people have been pro- other people have been prosecuted just for possessing the documents. Forget mm-hmm. not giving them back, and, and you know it's not. Um, and this is where you know the difference from the Hillary Clinton and the in the in the Joe Biden situation comes along. They were never asked to give back, uh, and they found the stuff and gave it back voluntarily. Well, well, not Hillary. Well, no, no, no. Hillary destroyed. And hold on, Hillary Clinton had all the Blackberries destroyed. She had a server in her basement in her house. And as a mili- United States Air Force veteran who had top secret clearance, that was just all over. That the was in- done way before but still, any request was. N- no was- request or not. But hold on. But the FBI asked for it. They destroyed everything. No, they destroyed it earlier, before what's, what, the FBI. What's, what, what, what is but, she but destroying, before, though? But you, you're allowed to destroy anything. I mean, in, in your private property, you're allowed to do anything you want. It's a little weird, it's, though. It's a little suspect. That's, that's a little, but, little well, weird. But it was, it, it's it, shady, maybe it's a little suspect, it, it's shady, but it's not a but crime. Not illegal. It's not, it's, there's no, yeah. there's no that claim shouldn't that it's be a crime. crime. That yeah. shouldn't be so. So, so for if, example, if you, let's just say. You have a cell phone, right? Yeah. If today you want to destroy your cell phone. That's not a government that issued. No, no, but Jeff, that's not a government anybody. issued cell phone. As a, that wasn't again, a, no, the, those are all black. That, that was all of her staff's uh, blackberries. They destroyed them, and then all her emails. They did that white. What's it called, Rob? Where they took all that white shit where you can't ever see it. Bleach bit. That's what it's called. Bleach bit. Come on, Jeff. If you can't admit that there's a double standard the, right now, and the day that the indictment comes out, it was the same day that we found out about the Hunter Barisma everything. But, but, the timing Hunter, is perfect. But Hunter Biden was prosecuted by Trump's U.S. attorney okay. in Delaware. Okay. Merrick Garland recused himself. This was entirely a decision by Trump's U.S. attorney. What's the what? Wh- wh- how was that? Joe Biden protecting his son. I mean, that was not he. Joe Biden and Joe Biden's attorney general had nothing to do with it. The whole issue was the whole. Um, prosecution was conducted by someone appointed by Donald Trump. Well, I think that the, the issue here is optics. Now, Vinny, where'd you go to law school again? Uh, United States Air Force. Okay, gotcha. So you're not a legal analyst, but he but, does have an but, opinion. I, I, well, and, hear me and, out. And, hear me you out. You don't have to be a lawyer. I mean, I, no, I, I correct. That, I, really, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, that, my yeah. point is this: it's a lot of people who share Vinny's opinion, right? They're not. They didn't. They're not reading tort reform, and they're not going to law school. But I'm not. They're dumb. just basically saying something's fucking fishy here, bro. <laughs> but but, but it sometimes it takes a legal analyst to be like, hold on, this is how the law works. Well, and and also, you know, S- Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan was was someone I covered a lot, someone I liked a lot. He had something that uh, he said something that that always sticks with me. He said everyone's entitled to their own opinion, mm-hmm. but they're not entitled to their own facts. Yeah. And you know the the idea that. You know, Joe Biden or Merrick Garland, you know, gave Hunter Biden a a sweet deal. Yeah, it's just not a fact. Now you can argue that 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 Biden that Hunter should have been more harshly dealt with, but you can argue that it was somehow a Biden initiative that that he did it. But, but, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. So let's just say, if I have ten people that at one point in my life were best friends. And prior to meeting me, they had never done cocaine before. Uh, these 10 people, 10 out of 10, eventually became cocaine addicts and killed themselves, simply by association with me. I probably have some bad influence on these people, okay? This, this, this lady named Hillary Clinton, one too many of her best friends or close friends have committed suicide in the random ways. She is not the most trusted person, even by the left. She was supposed to be president. You were not alone. We, everybody, thought that was 3.30 in the morning. I'm on a call with, uh, with Tom, and he's saying, 
what the, we're silenced like on what's going on. You know the video with all the people losing their mm -hmm. minds, crying, all this stuff. I mean, the, 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 the New York at the convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the convention you know, was already set yeah. up. You know, she called, all this stuff. Sure. Nobody believed it. But why? Because people didn't trust her mess. Some of the stuff that came up, even with Comey said what he said, and that didn't help him, help her two weeks prior to that. Uh, the, the level of double standard with how she handled herself, it, that for sure is there. There's no questions about it. When you say something like, well, you can do whatever you want to your phones and you can do whatever you want to this, I get that. But if the other guy would have said, hey, accidentally these files burned. There was a fire in Mar-a-Lago. Oh, it wasn't. You guys would have lost your mind if you would have said there was an accidental fire. All I'm saying is I'm talking only to libertarians and independents. I'm not talking to Republicans, and I'm not, not, not talking to Democrats. I'm not even talking to rhinos. I'm not talking to Lincoln Project folks who cannot stand Trump. I'm right. not standing to Bush folks. I'm not standing to uh, 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 McCain folks. I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to independents and, independents and libertarians like a Joe Rogan, like a Musk. These are people that were voting for the left. These are people that wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders. Joe Rogan wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders is who he wanted to vote for. This is a guy that was for legalizing marijuana, totally okay with LGB, you know, his friend, you know, totally okay with this. It's like, this, there's something really fishy here. So the, the Hillary Clinton's never going to lose your loyalty. You know, they're not, you're not going to say, I'm going to flip. You're not going to do that. And the, uh, people who are on the MAGA side, Trump's not going to lose their loyalty. It's just not going to happen. Right. That's naturally there, right? It's like a Yankees fan. How often does a Yankee fan who's been a Yankee fan since six years old become a Red Sox fan at 60 years old? Just not going to happen, right. right? So if you're going to convert religion, you do it early. If you're going to convert teams, you're going to do it early. If you're going to convert politics, you generally do it early. But the people in the middle who are kind of like, let me see what he has to say. Mm -hmm. And let me see what he has to say. Come on, bro. What are you talking about? You're saying to me that Hillary Clinton didn't. I'm kind of with him here. I don't agree with you because I see. Because you know, you know the argument that the left makes? And they say, Democrats want Trump as the candidate. That's who they want because he's the guy that we will beat again. Really? If that's who you want as a candidate, then don't do this stuff. Well, well, no, we, we have to indict him and we have to do New York and we have to do this stuff because we just have to do it. Well, I'm sorry, you said he's the guy that you're certain you're going to beat. Why don't you not do this? Because every time you do, his polls go up. Well, that's strategically because we actually want him to beat DeSantis because we believe he will lose to Biden and we believe DeSantis will beat Biden. We've heard all that story many, many times, right? So th there's some leaks in the argument where the person who's sitting there saying, Listen, I'm not there to see all the reports, and I know Adam is defending you as a lawyer, saying, listen, Adam, you know, Vin, who is Vinny to say this? You're a lawyer. Yeah. You read all these things. Totally get that. But the average voter who has uh, this, this technology that we all possess, uh, especially the independent and libertarian ones, is a bullshit, a matter, whatever you want to call it, where you're kind of sitting there saying, ah, I smell a little bullshitting here from one side over the other. I think that party is also sick of it. To the point where, you know, Musk and Rogan to say, you want to save America? Vote Republican. If there was two people that you wouldn't <laughs> have ever thought to say those two things, it was going to be those two guys. And they changed in their 50s, not in their 30s or their 20s. That's the community that's sitting there saying they don't trust anything from Biden or Hillary Clinton. That happens to your son. They don't trust anything <laughs> I, I, from I'm that I'm sort camp. of amazed that, that we are, you know, we are talking about the 2024 presidential election mm -hmm. and, and people, you're talking so much about Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Hillary Clinton has been out of public life for eight years. I mean, Well, it, I put is, Hillary and Biden in the same camp. Well, That's all right, I mean but and, and, anyway, I, I mean, oh, yeah. Biden is certainly, you know, a, a, a appropriate to talk about. Yeah. And, and, you know, Musk and Rogan, I, you know. I only I, brought up Hillary because you brought up Hillary. You brought up Hillary early. I don't well, I, no, actually, I think I brought it up in response to what he yeah. said, but that's fine. You know, wh yeah. whatever. No, no, you brought up Hillary when you said, when I got it wrong oh, in 2016, okay. yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's, 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 that's what I'm true. saying. Yeah, I never no, brought I was, up I was wrong. Ah. I, I, yeah. I, and and I, I, as I certainly was wrong in 2016. I, I, I think presidential campaigns, this is something Bill Clinton often said, and I think he was right, is that presidential campaigns are always about the future and you know how you envision um, the, the, the things going forward. And... Um, you know, I, what what I can never get my hands he, head around is that we we often view these campaigns as you know a form of theater and who's more likable, who's more trustworthy. 
it's like these have real world consequences. And, and that's why I think abortion is such a big issue, because it's not about like who's who's more likable. It's like a big difference in people's lives, depending on the outcome of the election. And same thing about climate change. I mean, you have people, you know, have one political party that thinks it's not a particular problem. You have another political party that thinks, you know, the, the, the government has to mobilize uh, or, uh, against it. That to me, and, and, you know, maybe that's just a flaw in how I see politics, but I see it as more substantive than the, the, the theater aspect. But I recognize and that the, a lot of people are And different. this is my thing, Jeff, and I, and I respect your opinion, but my thing is when people say stuff like, that's back then, it was Hillary, it was eight years ago, people like me come up and they say, I just want accountability. I want, I don't give a damn if it happened 30, 50, 8, 10, JFK assassination, we're finding out the CIA was involved. I want people to be held accountable because, for instance, you see the Russia, the Russia thing, we just found out that was literally Hillary Clinton set it all up, paid, you know, Fusion GPS, they all, they all set them up. Now the public is like, wait a minute, can we hold her accountable? You, we had to be dragged through CNN, which, which was the biggest mouthpiece for that big-ass lie, for all those years. Now we find out Hillary was behind it. That was the real collusion. Hold on, Jeff. And no accountability? Didn't the, what, the DNC got fined like $8,000 for dragging us through that nonsense for all those years? We want accountability. And when you destroy phones, Jeff, it's not her cell phone. When your whole staff is government-owned cell phones and you're destroying evidence. And then hold on. And Adam, you talked about Attorney General Loretta Lynch with James Comey. They're about to, she would have been, uh, her charge would have been gross negligence which is called, which is, you could go to jail, correct? For gross negligence. Why all of a sudden, last minute, they changed it to extreme carelessness. One side has it way better than the other side. And when you have the FBI kind of leaning towards the left, which we've learned, Jeff, we can't, you can't lie with Peter Strzok and, and uh, Lisa Page and the whole FBI, and we keep finding out stuff with the Twitter files, they lean way more left than they do right. I just want somebody to get, be held accountable for what they did. That's just my point. That's it. I, I, I respect your point, and I, I think, you know, you, you, you are very concerned about accountability. I think presidential elections are going to much more about the future than about who's accountable for what so forget about the So forget about the past. By, by the way. No, these, I, not forget about it, but it, it's just not I, – I don't think it's relevant – to the who's who you're going to vote for in 2024 how you felt about hillary clinton's you know well, jeffrey I'm, emails i'm going to interject here for yeah. a second because i think that's being a little dismissive because um you know how you said facts don't care about you yeah. know your feelings opinions what vinny's trying to convey he's basically a mouthpiece of millions of people who feel that way whether he's right or wrong Good luck convincing somebody not to feel away. I, so what I think, and I'm not saying that, that yeah. I'm coming at you no, like no, you're the tip fine. of the yeah. spear for the DNC or anything like that. Yeah. But use Vinny as a metaphor for freaking millions, tens of millions of America who feel that way, who's basically saying, what the fuck is going on here? It seems like there's two completely different justice systems. And dude, I'm as moderate as it comes. I'll go left. I'll go right. I'll, I'll, I'm down to party. But there's so many people on the right. But by the way, just, this is coming way. from a guy that has never voted for a Republican president ever, before, ever. So he's saying that. So uh, on, the, what I would say is the following. Here's what I would say with what he said. By the way, the climate change thing that you said that people are worried about climate change. Uh, 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 Greta Thunberg five years ago today. Today, June 21st, she said that because of if we don't stop fossil fuels, today was the doomsday Today, this was I her just anniversary. I we make it through today, by the I don't, way. This I, is, I, can a, we a die? climate change scientist is warning that climate change will so <clears throat> we could die today. Is wipe out of all of humanity oh, unless God. we stop fossil fuels over the next five years. Okay, oh, so I that's got up today, and shaved and everything. June 2018. Oh, no. Shout well, out this to is Greta. what happens when you listen to a 13 year old. She was 15 but, but, at the okay. time. <laughs> but by the way, but by the way, this is not about what happens when you listen to a 15 year old. You chose to put this person as a spokesperson and use him as a person of influence mm -hmm. to get younger people, and she was very influential. Trust me. This girl's got more influence than most people even believe she does. Oh, I'm not downplaying so, so her, yeah. her but By the influence. way, but she's not, I mean, I, I, look, I, I, it's what she's saying yeah. is not that the, that it will, the, that on five, five years from now, humanity will cease to exist. It's, it's that eventually, and if you look at 
um, you know, the, the, w- the melting of the polar ice caps, the melting of Greenland, the melting, uh, the, the rising of the seas, mm. that's not an unreasonable prediction. That's not an unreasonable prediction at all. You really believe that? That 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 climate change is going to affect. Come on, man. You, I'm, I think climate it obviously I, I, affects. I mean, so you, I, you don't think climate change is going to affect? I mean, here we are sitting in South Florida. You don't think the rising seas is going to affect Miami? Climate change is uh, okay. So, it, it, do you want to have the climate change debate? Let's finish this and then we can okay. touch up climate change. I, I, Let's I, just, I mean, I, you know, I don't I don't want to get into some. No, no, I mean, no, I'm no, not no, a no, but in that no, field, but yeah. but but you brought it up, so let's yeah, talk no, about it. Fine. We can talk about it as none of us sure, being specialists. Yeah. Nobody here is right. an expert, so whoever gets it, we can all get it wrong. Right. But let me go back to the point about the future thing. Okay. Uh, I, I agree with them partly. Let me explain to you why. You remember how the whole thing is like they stole the election, they stole the election, they stole the election. You know who's the first person that said that? Hillary Clinton. One hundred percent. They stole the like Russia could race stole the election, but nobody said anything. The more she went and the more she did that, the more she looked like a victim. I could I couldn't stand it when you're a sore loser and you lose and you can't do it. You know who did it next? Trump did it. One hundred percent. Okay, and guess what? You're living what? They stole the election. They stole the election. Whether they did or not, either side. Voters want you to say, we lost, let's move on. Okay, 100%. Left, right, middle, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. However, hey, for those that believe there may have been meddling in the election, et cetera, et cetera, here's what we have to do. The solution is don't vote by yourself. Go with twos. Go with right. threes. Go with four. Give me the solution because that's now moving forward, right? Here's where we want to go. So that part I agree with them is future. Obama sold the campaign in 2008, yeah. you know, we future. Can. You know, Clinton yeah. show sold future. Kennedy sold future. Reagan sold future, right? Yeah. And even Trump sold future in 2016 when he won. America, let's make America great again and let's make this. It's the future. Okay. Um, Trump's campaign started sloppy because he wasn't selling the future. He was selling the past. All right. Having said that, um, th- there is a part of me that, uh, 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 you know, I want to know. Like, for example, this whole thing about who cares where COVID came from? I'm sorry, what? what? I want to know where COVID came from. Who, do you care? Who cares? Like, I remember one time Hillary Clinton was asking, who cares? They're dead. They're no longer Oh, yeah. Why does it matter? What does it matter about Benghazi? What? Oh, my God. What do you mean, who cares? That's the camp, left or right. That's the camp that says, who cares? We're already past this. No. Listen, COVID ruined a lot of people's lives. The the, 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 the leading surgeon, what do you call it? The surgeon general came out and said, hey, here's what we learned about COVID is that these shutdowns led to people needing to be around each other and why it's so important to be around each other. Wait a minute. You just realized the Zoom concept didn't work working remotely, that we need to be around each other because we need each other's company? We're just starting to realize that? Now we're just starting to realize how this affected kids? No, no, no. We can't say who cares. We have to go back and find out what happened to prevent it from happening again. And if China did it, they have to be held accountable. And now we know the first three cases were the doctors that were out of China. Wuhan, that came out. That's not even something that's being debated about. It's public information that they're talking about now. We have to find that out, okay? And we have to find out whether Fauci was involved with different cases. You know, was he, uh, uh, he you know, gain function? He, were they doing that? Were they not doing that? Was he involved with this? Who was funding it? Where did the money come from? People want to know. There's a reason why. Like, think about messages that go viral. For example... What did we learn midterms? Republicans screwed up royally, not a little bit, royally. They screwed up with abortion. You're 100% right. No one's dis- dis- disagreeing with that. But watch this here. Who's RFK? Robert F. Kennedy. He lost his father and he lost his uncle. Two people that were loved and admired, probably by both sides. Establishment didn't like those guys. The establishment couldn't stand the Kennedy family at all because they were going up against the establishment. They couldn't stand those guys. So, all right, can you go on uh, Amazon and type in uh, Robert Kennedy Jr.? His, uh, if you can just go on Robert Kennedy Jr. I think he did nobody wanted to publish this book through anybody. Go to the Anthony Fauci one. I read that. It was a great book. Okay. Scary. So zoom in a little bit. Uh, it's number four this week. This thing was written two years ago. It's got 23,000 <laughs> reviews over a million copies sold and who published it go to the bottom uh go to the bottom go to the bottom go to the bottom let's see who published it go to the bottom keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going 
Uh, oh my God. Okay, so right, so zoom terms in. of agreement on Sky Instagram. Horse Publishing. <laughs> yeah. I, who is Sky Horse Publishing? Go Google who Sky Horse no, is. They, 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 they publish a lot of books that other publishers won't Don't Oh, gotcha. So it's kind of no, like a. That's true, yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. So Sky yeah. Horse Publishing mm-hmm. takes some of the guys that people don't want to publish. So then the question becomes why did the book do so well? Why did it sell so many copies? Maybe because people want to know. Why did Roe v. Wade create such a big, maybe because that's an important thing to women, including left and the right. So guess what, Republicans? You have to respect that and pay attention to it. Guess what, Democrats? You have to find out what the hell happened with this Anthony Fauci guy. So, I, I so mean, to me, the only thing, the only point I'm making, I'll kind of yeah. turn it back over to you and we can go to the next subject. The only thing I'm saying is, the future part, I'm with it. I agree. You have to sell the dream of the future where we're going. But the accountability part, if there's not really any law and order, then this whole thing about a guy like O.J. Simpson who got away, which, by the way, oh, you're not liked by O.J. Simpson. No, I'm aware of that. But by, <laughs> but by the way, but by the way, by the way, you know what that says? That's a compliment. Well, you know, I, my dad always used to say you can you can you, you can that, tell yeah. someone you you can tell a lot about someone by yeah. their enemies, and you know the, the fact that O.J. Simpson is my enemy. I'm. I'm I, but what I'm yeah. saying to you is, I respect the fact that he yeah. doesn't like you right. because we wanted to know what happened. So there's a part of the accountability part. That there's a lot of people that are saying, I just want to get to the bottom of it, see who was behind it. Well, and 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 this is the thing, you know, the, this the the COVID thing, you know, interests me for, for for a specific reason. I mean, there is a active scientific debate about the the ultimate source of COVID. Did it come from a lab? Did it come from an animal? Uh, you know, an animal. And 100%. I, um, I'm just a guy who went to law school. I know fuck all about it, Tim, about epidemiology. I, you know, how could you possibly ask someone like me what the source of COVID was? Oh, that's not what I'm asking. No, but yeah, you're but, saying but, in general. Stop but I'm saying, saying, but that's what I'm how saying we rely is, on Vinny. we no, should, no. yeah, we should ask Vinny about yeah. the source of COVID. <laughs> but 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 Shut up, that is a question that should be addressed in good faith by people who have some idea about how to determine that. I don't know the source of COVID. Yeah, but, you know, but, but Jeff, I, I you mean, get, that's, that's not that what I'm to me, asking, but, 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 but that, these questions that become I'm... politicized, it seems ridiculous to me to have political debates about something that is a scientific question that people should address. And I'm agreeing that there should be okay. investigations so, of all that yeah, stuff. By the way, Brett Baer, did you see the interview with Trump? Yes, I saw okay. excerpts. From did you him, see, yeah. he did, did you think he did a good job? Uh, no. Oh, you, oh, you mean Brett Baer? Yeah. Oh, I thought Brett Baer did a very good I job. Agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think yeah. Brett Baer did a great job. And you know how he said this person say... This person got fired. That person got fired. This person got fired. Why do you not have a good, you know, so he asked a tough question. And then, hey, you know, why is it that you're keeping on to it? They were trying to get it from you. Well, I wanted to first make sure. Okay, so guess what? People want to know. Great. But people want to also know what the Corvette back and with the notes, you know, what you had there is with Biden. People want to know as well. People want to know. There, with, and, and there is an investigation going great. on about Biden. All Absolutely. I'm saying, all yeah. I'm saying to you is people want to know. That we want to know what's behind the truth. The, the 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 comment about the fact that I'm not an epidemi, you know, I'm not the extra, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm totally get it. The element of that approach when you say something like, "Well, you're not the expert in this, and you're not the expert in that," the, the, there is a the, there is a very clear, pompous, elitist message behind that. Like just like this week when MSNBC and CNN. Well, we know the president is talking right now, Jake Tapper and Rachel Maddow. But, you know, we know the president is talking. But we Listen, we are not going to let him have any airtime, and we're going to update you on whatever he says that's necessary because we know he's going to tell lies. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm a moron? Do, do you think I don't have a mind for my – like I can't make – what the hell is America all about? You just said I'm a moron. That's what you – you just said to half of America, hey, America – you're a moron. You can't think for yourself. That's why you need me because I went to this elitist university called whatever, whatever, Columbia. I don't know where Rachel went to. And I know what's best for you. Guess what? I don't like that. That's why I left Iran. There's a reason why we don't live in Iran for 10 years. 10 years old when I lived in Iran, we, left, we went to Germany at a refugee camp for two years. Then we came to America because I want me to make the stupid decision on who I vote for, not you. Let me make the stupid decision of voting for Biden or Trump. To, there's a part of that where when we say, I'm not the expert, you're not this, you're not, well, no, you're a smart guy. That's why you're here. You're, you're not a regular schlep off the street that doesn't know what, you've been involved in a lot of different things I've investigated. All I'm saying is, For us to take the approach as well to say, hey, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't have this. You don't know what you're talking about. No. 
We're here because we don't know everything, but we're here to question things and say, this kind of sounds a little fishy. Don't you want to know about it? I do. Well, no, let's just live in the future. Forget about the past. I, no, no, no. I, I don't want I, to do that. I completely yeah. agree that, you know, everybody, that, that you know, you, you, we, we don't, we don't have, um, you know, tests to, to determine whether, you know, you're entitled to an express an opinion on a subject. Well, the, the only point I was making was uh, th there are certain scientific questions like the source of COVID that it, it, it really does require some considerable expertise in the subject in order to have a reasonable opinion about it. That, that's the only point I was making. And, and I don't, I, I, I'm not saying that, you know, I mean, what, what, is, what is more than legitimate is you or Vinny or anybody saying, we need an investigation of, of the source of COVID. Mm -hmm. That everybody, you know, that's a perfectly Respect. legit, yeah, legit right. but, but the ultimate question of what the source of COVID is, I want to mm -hmm. rely on people who know something. And who's but, leading that investigation? Yeah, exactly. Who, who is? I don't know. That's my well, fucking well, point. Well, oh. and, and, Where's this investigation and, and, of COVID? No, 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 and, and, and I go Don't and, investigate laptops and leaks no, and this and that. No, no. But well, something that shut down the world for two China, and a half years, but, no investigate. What is happening? Adam, China runs... Bro, if China could fly spy balloons over our entire country, over nuke bases, and nothing happens, nobody's investigating shit. But here's my thing. Which is absurd. No, but here's, here's my thing, Jeff. And you know, we're, I'm not an expert. You, nobody in here knows shit about epidemiology, right? right? But guess what? It doesn't help when the experts were trying to talk and the government was silencing them. When Peter McCullough was trying to talk, when Robert Malone was trying to talk, mm -hmm. they banned them on YouTube. They took them off Twitter. How do we even have a chance? How am I supposed to learn from the experts when they were shut down and now yeah. it's years later? And now we're like, oh, it's old news. No, no, right. again, accountability. And that's why I've had the thing with um with Joe Rogan. He wants to have that debate with the bring a bring a scientist. Yeah. Dr. Peter bring, Motel, bring are you following that story? I, I am following. Yeah. So what let's do you think what? about that? Yeah, what do you think about I, that? I mean, I, I I actually am sympathetic. You know, if if you want to have a scientific debate, have two scientists debate it. Not Joe Rogan against some scientist. He doesn't want to do that either, no, though. RFK. Oh, okay. But Hotez doesn't even want to debate two experts science, that are on the opposing side. It's, I understand the argument yeah. you're saying, like, why should he debate RFK? RFK yeah. is not. Fine. Okay. That's a reasonable argument. But why don't you get a couple other experts from I'm, the other I'm side? I want you to be that. Yeah. Totally for that. Then I, I respect think that. that. That's that's that, that's that's fine. I I, I mean yeah. I, I I I'm not in that involved. I just I, having people who know something about mm -hmm. it should debate. But but you know I shouldn't debate. No, of course. You know, the, well, Jeffrey, issues, why do you I don't think know anything about it? Yeah. America wants to see this debate, conversation, dialogue for sure. Whether it's uh, RFK or Malone, or McCulloch, and then versus a Fauci, or Dr. Hotep, fill in the blank, in your non-expert legal opinion, why do you think this debate has not happened? Why has it not occurred yet here in America? Well, it is happening. I mean, I mean, look, Where? look, look, we're having Where? this conversation. No, 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 no. But none of us are experts. I'm talking experts. Uh, there, there, there are, there are scientific papers being published all the time That's not about a debate. COVID. That's that not is a debate. A debate. No, that it's is not a debate. Yeah, how many scientific papers have you read? Recently? I haven't read Zero. it, but I mean, That's, nobody's reading that. But that's, people want to visualize and see. You're debate saying like, like okay. doctors debating with a camera on. Is that kind of what you're saying? I mean, for? yeah, like a yeah. debate. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, not scientific Fauci papers. And Malone, I, Fauci I, Malone. Not I scientific think, papers. I think you will, th there, there will be, given the level of interest in it, there will be plenty more discussion on this subject <laughs> among people who know what they're talking about. And, and that's a good thing. I hope. Thank and you. by the way, I hope so. Because what one of the things like when you run a company and, you know, there's those that are complainers. And you can't give too much credit to complainers because they're everywhere. So th these are the people that complain about everything. If a person complains about every single issue, they have this much credibility, right? But if a person who doesn't complain once a year, they say, hey, Pat, can I just bring something up? I don't like the way we do this here. You know what I do? I pay attention to what they have to say, right. okay? So let's set aside the complainers that just complain about everything in life. What do we learn about people in America? Hey, this abortion thing, listen, it's legit. Kind of pay attention to it. It's very important to us. Check, get it, respect. Uh, hey, this uh, this thing with uh, uh, COVID that ruined our lives. As a mother, I had to stay home and I had to do this and I had to cost my job. And I didn't want to take the vaccine, but I did take it and I had to do this. And I, I didn't like that part. Can you guys please not do this again and give me a different option the next time around? You know what? 
This is not a complainer. This is a positive citizen. They go to work. They raise their kids. They pay their taxes. Check. Let's pay attention to this. All I'm saying is let's pay attention to the people that are saying those things. Let's investigate that and give them an opportunity to see the opposing side. Especially because there are going to be more pandemics. There are going to be more communicable diseases I agree. out exactly. there. I agree. And um, – we need um, to to know what works and what doesn't, and um, I, I just I, I think you know pl- planning for future pandemics is what responsible government should Crazy. do. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.